If you remodel or upgrade your home, will you get your value out of it? Warning, this video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be a cause of interfamily remodel debates. Hi, this is Clint with the Stitzer Real Estate Group. And before we begin, I wanna call your attention to two links on my blog. First, if you're interested in buying or investing in real property, click on the search now link. If you're interested in selling real property, click on the property valuation link. Now, here at the Stitzer Group, it's our core value to provide value to you first, to help you make great decisions in all your real estate ventures. And while the common question is, hey, we wanna put in new floors or slab granite countertops, are we gonna get our money back when we sell? I wish there was a, a clear, single answer that I could give you, but there's not. So what I can do is offer you some great resources to help you make an educated decision. And the first resource that I have for you, we're gonna go on the computer here, is remodeling.hw.net. They give us a cost versus value analysis. What is the average cost of the most common home improvement projects and what is the common value added? The great thing about it is they give us data at a national level, data at a regional level, and even data at a city level. So again, this is averages. These are models. They're not gonna be specific. There are gonna be factors, whether you go super high end, low end, moderate. It all just depends, but the more you can get educated about it, the more you can understand kind of the relationship of certain types of projects, the more educated you can be. The other resource, which again, both these links are gonna be below this video somewhere, whether we're on YouTube or on your, uh, your on Reno Home Journal, we'll provide them for you. The other resource on this Google spreadsheet was a great tool to give an average idea of what some things might cost if you were gonna do work on your house. Third, just Google it. Google ROI, return on investment, of a remodel plus the name of your project. So if you're gonna do a, a new granite countertops, search remodel ROI on granite countertops. And there are so many blogs, articles, case studies from DIY Network, HGTV, Truly, Azillo. You can get a whole bunch of do's and do nots when you're entering that project. Number four, you can call us and say, hey, help me do a neighborhood analysis on homes with slab granite countertops versus homes that don't maybe have that specific upgrade and let's see if there's a correlation between the sales price. We may even be able to get great, the best data for you doing just that and of course we'd be happy to do that because we're interested in adding value to your real estate decisions. But at the end of the day, your house shouldn't be your biggest investment vehicle. Yes, it's a huge investment, but it's not something where I advise you to be looking for a majority of your returns. So if you're looking at a project that's well within your budget, that's feasible, your home is your sanctuary. It's your shelter, it's where you live. If you want it and you can afford it and it fits within your budget, do it. Reminder, the Stitzer Group has no intention of aiding in or contributing to the creation of excessively long honeydew lists. If you or anyone you know wants to have a conversation about pricing your house, improvements you can make to improve the value, or if you need introductions to contractors, call or email us over at the Stitzer Group. We'd love to hear from you. This is Clint wishing you great success in all of your real estate ventures.